jet lag in the right direction, you know. Oh, that's good. Because I still got a lot of ground to cover in this place. And there she is. Wow. And now we gotta figure out how to get up there. It's really hard to describe or even show you in a video just how tall that is. That thing is way up there. Okay. Slow and steady. When's the race? Let's see here. Wow. Wow. Well, I'm exhausted, but holy crap, this is cool. Look at that. Wow. It's just wild that people can just come here and climb this. It's just, it's amazing. All right, I'm gonna try to climb up that. Cause I just want to see what's on the other side. Oh God, I'm crazy. Oh man, I'm crazy guys. Well, gotta keep going now. So I got up here, this thing just drops right off <laughs> my mom would kill me if she knew I was doing this stuff way out in the distance there you can see the balance rock now I gotta figure out how to get back down okay double arch down um, I don't know I'm just gonna see where the road takes me I, you know I can look in the map but I think it's more fun to just go and see what catches my eye Heading over to take a look at the delicate. So this is just a trail for the viewpoint. I don't think I can actually get to the arch from here. Yeah, nope, that answered my question right there. <laughs> no access to arch. Whew. Oh my god, guys. I don't know if it's me. I mean, yeah, I ain't in the greatest shape in the world. But normally this kind of stuff I can do. I, I think it's just the altitude. I may not be used to it. Haven't eaten since breakfast, which doesn't help. But we made it to the top. And it's a great view. So there it is. You get a nice little vantage point of it over here. And yeah, you can walk under it. There's a trailhead several miles that way. And it's a long, you know, it'd probably be a good hour walk to get to it and I'm uh you know pressed for time in here and also tired as we already know so uh we can appreciate it from here you know oh well the good news is going back down <laughs> is a lot easier <laughs> not even breaking a sweat noticing just when you look at it from a distance how green it all looks out there like when you're standing right up on it it's like arid desert but when you like look at it from a distance it's green wow okay so considering the time it's almost three o'clock i probably have time to visit one more little attraction here um so i'm gonna look on the map and we'll head over there i've you know, I gotta set up camp here, get my hotel checked into, and I really need to eat because I am starving. So let's see what we can find as our final thing to do. All right, I think I got a prime candidate chosen here, and that's gonna be the Skyline Arch, which is kind of notorious because people have tried to walk over the top of it and died. Um, it's a short little hike, so this will be a good one to wrap up with. And there it is, off in the horizon. And I can definitely see uh, how you could want to walk over the top of that. It's so quiet out here. Just tranquil, peaceful. Don't really get this back home. It's so hard to estimate how high up that is, but I gotta say it's at least 100 feet.
this sand's a lot softer. This is the first time I've really seen like the soft sand like this that you associate with the desert. And look at this old petrified tree. Talk about just awe-inspiring. Now this is pretty neat. Nice little shady spot to chill out. Nice view of the arch. <laughs> There's a little baby, baby rock balance. I think like the cool thing to keep in mind is that we are alive at the right time to be able to see stuff like this because eventually it's going to break. It's going to collapse. Uh, the delicate arch, a piece of it, fell off not even that long ago. Like These things could fall at any time. So it's just awesome that we can come here and experience it. We're alive at the right point in history to see that. So... I feel lucky. Anyways, guys, it's been a long day for me. I think I'm uh, heading out of here. Pretty much, I hit all the famous ones. Uh, all the other ones require long, long hiking trails to access. If I had more days here, I absolutely would do it. And I want to come back eventually because this is just amazing out here. But I appreciate you watching. And uh, look forward to having you tune in next week where I'm going to Canyonlands National Park. That will probably be a two-parter too because it's massive. So anyways, guys, thanks for tuning in. And let me know, how do you like the new Roadside Showcase? Is it working for you? Um, I know we're just getting started, but this is kind of how I think I'm going to do it from now. Fly into a city film a bunch of stuff, release week by week by week, and rinse and repeat. Seems to work for me, so let me know, and I'll see you next week.